do you support what Hamas launched on Saturday morning? Well, this is not the right question, uh, Louis. Really, the right it's question. It's an important question. No, no, it is not an important question you, because, because whether no, you support their action or not because, is an important because, question. No, 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 no. It is not an important question. Hamas is a is a group, is a militant group. You're talking to, uh, with the Palestinian representative. Our position is very well known and clear. And what, what and, is that? Do you support you Hamas's cannot, actions? And, and then you cannot equate. You cannot equate. This is not about support or not support. I am here to represent my people, the Palestinian people what they are going through. I'm not here to condemn anybody. And if anybody that needs to be condemned, it's what you call the only democracy in the Middle East, that is Israel, between parentheses, that is doing what you have just reported, targeting civilians. And this has not just happened in the last 48 hours. I'll tell, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. Hamas is not the Palestinian government. Okay? The Israeli government is giving orders for its organized army. So please don't draw any symmetry here. Don't equate. There is no way you can draw any symmetry. And don't equate between the occupied and the occupier. This doesn't, this, this doesn't serve justice to understand for your audience and viewers the real uh, situation. Since Israel's establishment, it has had one military doctrine. When it fights, it goes and fights civilians, kill civilians, so they pressure the, the fighters. Since 1948, and go back to the record, and this has been repeated in Gaza and will continue to be repeated. So the conversation is not a blame game. I am not in the business of blaming the victim here. The, the real conversation is how do we stop this vicious, deadly cycle? You just condemned Israel for killing civilians and you won't condemn Hamas for killing civilians. How many times you have interviewed Israeli officials, Louise? Hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. How many times Israel have committed war crimes right live on your own cameras? Do you start by asking them to condemn themselves? Have you? You don't. You don't. No, no, I'll answer that question. You don't. You know why I refuse to answer this question? Because I, I refuse the premise of it. Because at the very heart of it is misrepresentation of the whole thing. Because it's the Palestinians that are always expected to condemn themselves. I mean, come on, this is a political conflict. We have been denied our rights for a long time. So this is the wrong starting point. The right starting point is to focus on the root causes, is to try and get out of this extreme dark tunnel, as opposed to this business and how, by how, BBC how and the mainstream media for, for 75 years. You, you bring us here whenever there are Israelis who are killed. Did you bring me here when many Palestinians in the West Bank, more than 200 uh, over the last few months? Do you invite me when there is such Israeli provocations in Jerusalem and elsewhere? Because Israel, what Israelis have seen, which we started by saying tragic, the last 48 hours, the Palestinians see every day for the last 70, uh, 50, 50 years. You know the situation in Gaza, you've just described it. This is the biggest open air prison. Those people, 2 million, have been taken hostage by Israel for the last 16 years. So I'm saying this just to say, Louis, perhaps this is about time we abandon this, this rhetoric, very dangerous, this framework, and we start giving people the real ugly truth sometimes. What is the solution in your eyes? International law. That's it. International, what does that mean? The equal application of international resolutions and law and legitimacy, as you did in Ukraine. Would you bring the Ukrainian ambassador here and start asking him to condemn if some of his fighters? We need to fully and equally apply the rules that were created by the League of Nations after the horrors of the Second World War. We need to make sure that Israel is not the exception. It has been for the last 75 years. We need to make sure that nobody is above the law. Britain is renowned, Louise, for the rule of law. I think that's the solution. Israel is an occupying force. It is responsible to provide protection for the people under its occupation. And should they commit crimes and crimes against humanity in the coming hours and weeks, it must be held accountable by the international community and the international judicial system. Mr. Sam Zamlot, thank you very much for coming on the programme. Thank you.